Hello and welcome to Pride and Groom, a video series dedicated to helping you give your dog the best grooming routine at home. My name is Stuart Simons and I've been a dog groomer, professional dog groomer for over 10 years and a dog owner for all of my life. So I know just how important it is to make sure that your dog's happy and healthy and follows a regular grooming routine. Over the course of the series, I'll be giving you some hints and tips on using the new Ultimate Hair Reduction System from Firminator, as well as talking to other dog owners about things like how to keep your dog clean after a dirty, muddy walk. Also, how important it is to introduce a grooming routine into their lives. So come along, join me and let's start. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about puppies. Now, if it's your first time owning a puppy, it can be a really daunting time. So it's my job today to try and ease you through the do's and don'ts of what you should do when you get your first puppy. So personally, I believe it's really important that you understand the grooming needs of whatever breed you choose before you go out and get your puppy. It's hugely important to remember that all breeds need different attention when it comes to grooming. Poodles and Bichons have hair and so they need loads and loads of professional grooming in conjunction with a home grooming schedule, but all breeds need to be groomed. Introducing grooming early is essential for your puppy. It helps them understand the daily, weekly and monthly routine of grooming. It helps them feel more comfortable and confident during their grooming session. When it comes to grooming puppies, there's only one tool that you need, and that's the My First Groomer for Puppies. This has been specially designed by Firminator to give them a soothing and massaging experience. Regular use will keep their hair looking fresh and healthy and nice and clean. Let me show you how it works. You take your handle and whichever head you choose. So we've got a comb and a brush head, both designed for puppies. And you can just pop the brush head onto the handle and you'll hear a click, click. And if you want to change it, you just press the button on the back of the handle, get your other head and click it into place. So these have both been designed for use on puppy coats. They're safe and gentle and perfect for introducing your puppy to a regular grooming routine. You should think about taking your puppy to a grooming salon as soon as they're safe to go to one so that they can get used to the smells and the sounds. It can be quite a daunting experience for a puppy. So remember, grooming starts at home. So let's go and introduce the Firminator My First Groomer tool to a puppy. Hi, Nikki. Hi. Thanks so much for coming in and talking to us today. That's okay. Who's this? This is my little Merida. And who's this? This is Jock. Look at how much Jock loves me. I know, very, very comfy. Very, very close friends. And Merida is, what do you think breed-wise? Uh, Jackapoo. A little Jackapoo. What a beautiful coat she's got. She so how old is, is Merida? Uh, she is nearly seven months. She's seven months old. So we, so have you done any grooming at home with her or anything? Uh, or do you, have you done anything? A little bit, but she finds it all very, very exciting. I bet she does. So she obviously you do loads of handling and stuff and yes. make sure that she's really comfortable making sure, so you've done our nails, etc. Yes. So obviously, used to handling, you do loads and loads of handling at home, lots of games and yes. stuff like that. So have you introduced him to her, sorry, I keep saying him, her, to uh, any brushes or combs or anything yet? Uh, yes, but as we say, we, we're, we're more playing with them at the moment. Absolutely. Chewing, playing and chewing, but Well, yes. you know, dogs learn through play, we yeah. all do. So Firminator have got these tools, these are my first groomers, and they're designed specially for puppies. And they've got, first of all, there's a little handle, and they've got an interchangeable heads, and it comes all in as one set. So you've got your comb, and it just clicks in like that, and then releases, and then the brush. So we don't recommend using the actual Firminator de-shedding tool until they're a year old, but you can use these, and it's a really good way of getting used, like getting the puppy to get used to the grooming routine in life. So why don't you give a little go on Merida? Here you go. <gasps> What do you that think, nice. Merida? That nice. Oh, it gets the mud off too. Doesn't feel too much, does it? <laughs> Obviously, she's a bit wriggly. She's like, oh my God, what are you doing to me? What is it? But you could also use the dual grooming brush. Try that on this side, because it's just a bit okay. fuzzy. Stay still. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Look at you. <laughs> so obviously, if you're grooming at home and she's wriggly, that obviously maybe someone can help you. You could give that a little try. So someone to hold uh, Merida still whilst you're giving her a brush, just so that until she gets used to it. I'm sure that that happens anyway when you're doing her nails. Someone else has to hold yes, her. Yes, they do. Um, 
best practices like for grooming in future because she's got a wiry coat all this is hand strippable so ideally in the future she'd be seeing a groomer that would hand strip her regularly i would probably recommend like every six to eight weeks to roll the coat but sometimes if they get really really bushy they they'll hand strip her back down to her undercoat to her pajamas if you like and eventually she will probably be using a Ferminator or someone will be using a Ferminator on her to get rid of the dead undercoat, but probably not too much. The, the amazing thing about the Ferminator product is that if you use it on a coat that's not ready to come out, it won't take the coat out. So it's perfect for her when she gets over, over a year old. So that's your first one. So that's your little My First Groomer brush and comb. Perfect for Merida. Who else have we got? So this is Jock, you this said. This is Jock. This is lovely Jock. Jock's got a double coat and he's very comfortable on my lap at the he moment. He really is very comfortable. And we can and he how old groomed. is Jock? Seven. So he's seven years old, really used to grooming. So Jock's got a double coat and we're going to demonstrate the Ferminator on Jock. It doesn't feel like there's loads to come out of Jock, but we're going to give it a go and see. Now I know that lots of dogs lose it the most from around this area. Oh dear, don't like that. Is it tickle? And as you can see, it has taken some hair out that's ready to come out. And it is definitely the right hair. It's the undercoat. Yeah. It's a completely different colour. Can you see? Yeah, definitely. To the top coat. There's no top coat in there at all, so it's, they're not break, it's not breaking the hair. You don't mind, do you? You're ready for that to come out. So it's really, really great for him. And that's going to reduce shedding in the home by up to 99% if you use it for 10 to 20 minutes a week. Oh, my Hoover will be pleased. I know, isn't that brilliant? <laughs> <laughs> Who else have we got? Let's see. Suki! We've got... Who's oh, this? And we've got Leo. Leo! Little Lily. Hello, Leo. So you usually clip Leo, do you? Leo gets normally clipped. And he's a Cocker Spaniel. He's a Cocker Spaniel, working he's Cocker. Lovely. So working Cockers generally also have a double coat. They're actually a combination breed, so they'll have feathers feathering on here which is could be more hair than fur yeah um, and you would use a ferminator if groomed properly so that they have that lustrous guard hair on the outside um if you haven't clipped them but once yeah. once it's clipped it goes a bit soft yeah do you see what i mean yeah but they still have an undercoat i don't know how much will come out let's give it a go he's pretty good good boy no it's beautiful perfect for him yeah and again there's no guard hair in there that's that is just simply F fluff Fluff. It's Lovely. the undercoat. It's what he doesn't need. It's dead hair. Dead hair. And we can certainly get rid of that. And you don't mind at all, do you? No, he likes Not him. at all. Let's see how much we can get out. You don't mind. Ah. I mean, after a while, that's just going to build up and you'll yeah. have a big mound of hair. So do you do that at home already? or? Uh, well, he is brushed. We do brush him, but... Um, he gets a lot of hosing because of the yard, and then he gets a brush. Um, but yes, he I'm gets hosing. Hose. You just like hosing. <laughs> Get the mud off. Do you love that? No, he hates the hose. No, we don't. Love and that. when you finished hosing and you want to get him back in the house again, how long does it take? Do you do anything? Special? We do normally brush him, but I would say it's more because he gets mats and things like that. So we do use um, the Ferminator on his body, but we would then use the. Uh, something like a more of a comby kind of one, like yeah. This, so, you, on his ears. but once he's outside and he's wet, and you want to get him back in the house, do you use any Ferminator products? Like, do you just wipe him down with a towel? Uh, no, we don't. He but normally just runs around and yeah, and he dries naturally. He dries naturally. What you can do is towel dry. Yeah. Spray some of the Ferminator deodorizing waterless spray on. It's got aloe vera in it. No parabens. Spray all over the dog. Massage in. It's really great time for you to have bonding experience with your dog uh, and also it's a really good time to check for any lumps and bumps really really good idea um, and then they smell nicer and oh, that, that whole like good. damp dog smell <laughs> especially on breeds that shed it can really really make the house smell but this is gonna, hair. exactly this is going to help you with that oh lovely can a I tool a for whip? everything yeah go for it spray it on have a feel oh my gosh we spray you good boy doesn't mind it at all. And then just rub it in with your hands. Can you smell it? Oh, yeah. It smells oh, great, doesn't it? You smell it? the best you've ever smelled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lily. Good boy. 
Absolutely. So it's another Perfect. great product from Ferminator. Perfect for you and your home. Yes. And your, I mean, I think you live in a house that's like my dream home. <laughs> I'd just be really happy to spend time all day with your dogs. Hundreds They're of good. dogs. Yeah, especially Hundreds you, Pickle, because you love me. That's right. <laughs> and you do. Yes, you do. Well, thank you so much that's for coming okay. to see us. That's no worries at all. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. It's been great to spend some time with you. If you subscribe to the Ferminator UK YouTube channel, you can find all the other videos in the Pride and Groom series, along with a host of other great content. Now, as for today, go and spend some time with your dogs and have fun.